Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a night video for you. Today we're looking at a Riot. This is one I've been interested in for quite a while. I was recently able to pick this up from White Mountain Knives. Wanted to give you a quick first impression. So I've only had this for a short time, um, but I thought I'd go rather quickly through the details with you, beginning with just a quick look at what comes in the box. You get the nice little black Riot bag, microfiber cloth, some extra hardware, and a little patch so fairly typical stuff from Riot when you buy their own models these these things vary um especially if you're buying you know the the various Riot partnerships that are out there don't always come with all that stuff but the standard ones do also i may as well address the giant stain on my mat right away um some of you will know what happened i was uh, i wanted to cut a glow stick and just see the effect i did shared it on YouTube shorts and on Instagram. Um, you know, one of these completely ridiculous videos that does well with the, the 12 year old crowd, but I had, I knew this was not a good idea. I put a piece of cardboard here, but I couldn't see in the dark that the cardboard had moved. And so I, I kind of messed up and left a stain on my nice leather mat. Anyway, now it's a less nice leather mat, but it still says sharp stuff on here. I still like it. So I'm going to keep it, uh, and just, deal with a big stain in the middle of it. So now if uh, if you notice that stain in subsequent videos, that's the explanation. All right, here is the knife in question. This is the Riot K4. Of course, it's part of a larger K series from Riot, all of which are actually kind of compelling. Not not all equally, but uh but certainly they're all decently cool knives. Um this is the black version, which is kind of a new-ish version. And uh, I went with the standard carbon fiber inlay. I don't know. For me, it just it looked a little better in this particular application. Uh, Justin had both models, and he said, well, which one do you want? And I said, you know, let's just go with the plain CF in this case. So I want to, first of all, just let you admire this because it is really, really nice looking knife. Um, I want to do a rundown uh, on the features, and so that's what we'll start with. But I've got to say, the one of the things that I love about this knife is the blade. It's a compound gr compound grind, so hollow grind here, flat grind out here uh, at the sort of tanto point. Big, large top swedge. The recurve in the in the uh, Hollow grind sort of matches the, the curvature of the blade. I find this to be absolutely gorgeous. I And, you know, I, I've said this many, many times, and I'm sure I'll say it many more. Uh, I just love Riot's grinds. They do such a great job. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, the action on this is very nice. It's dual row ceramic bearings with a very dialed in detent. And that's pretty much new out of box. Generally, these things do get a little better with age, but it's already very, very nice. We have a black PVD coated titanium handle here with carbon fiber inlay. Nice looking carbon fiber. This series of ceramic dots, I'm not sure about that. That's about the only thing that I'm not totally in love with. But I, you know, overall, it looks, it kind of ties in and looks okay. Um, Silver hardware on this, which I think looks good with the blade. Wouldn't want you wouldn't want a totally like it just sort of here, sort of ties the the whole knife together by by maintaining the the uh, silver finish or the satin finish on the titanium. Backspacer here with some slight texturing on it. Integrated, come on, integrated lanyard hole. There is some internal milling on this knife. I think yeah, you can kind of see it there. And that is going to at least attempt to lighten up the knife a little bit. It's a pretty hefty knife, though, and we'll talk about that. Um, I mean, not unexpectedly heavy or anything crazy like that, uh, but it's it's a, a bit dense. Okay, let's put it that way. So the specs on this guy, 8 and 9 sixteenths overall, almost 3 and 3 quarter inches of blade, 4 and 7 eighths when closed. Okay, so that's what you're getting in your pocket. In terms of grip area, almost four inches, three and seven eighths grip area, which for me is plenty, more than enough. Really, really nice ergonomics on this knife. Um, the the G10, I mean the 
Titanium is sort of contoured here, so very, very nice looking, or I mean very, very nice feeling knife in hand. All right, and finally weighs in at 5.7 ounces, which is kind of hefty, but not a big deal. Uh, what are my overall thoughts, my initial thoughts, I guess, if you will, getting this out of box and being able to check it out? Uh, one, I have to say that this is a knife I've wanted for a long time. I like the knives in the K-series. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to get my hands on many of them. Um, and so I, you know, pro you'll probably see more from, from the K-series on my channel. And so with that that in mind, there was quite a bit of anticipation for this knife, right? I've wanted this knife for a long time, so finally getting one, that's pretty exciting and probably biasing my view a little bit. Uh, I do find it very, very well put together, really impressive fit and finish, beautiful, beautiful knife overall. I, I do find this to be an extremely attractive knife, I'll say that, uh, and the grind is one of my favorite things. This is... Oh, look at that. I just love compound grinds. I love the detail here. I love uh, I love the styling on this. It's sort of a, you know, it's got a bit of an aggressive look because of that recurve and the tanto, but it's also very classy. You know, it, it's sort of a, a James Bond type of knife. You know, it's, it's dressed up, but it's also very capable. Um, so, that's my initial thought. You know, I'm pretty darn impressed. Now we'll see if that impression stays. Um, it is a little heavy. It's a little big, uh, but that's that's right in my wheelhouse. So that's going to be you know something that I like. But you may not. Just wanted to throw it out there in case uh, some watching this are not in a fan of such large knives or of larger knives. Uh, I will do a comparison between this and the Torrent. Uh, that'll be you know I'll probably do that in the next few days here. And then I'm going to spend some time with this, you know, kind of do some cutting, carry it, get to know this, and come back at you with a full review in a little bit. Uh, by the way, these are available over at White Mountain Knives. That's where I got this one. And so check out Justin and uh, use the discount code SHARPSTUFF. It's down in the description box along with a link to White Mountain Knives. Um, and uh, go pick yourself one up. You'll save 10%. They don't have these at Southern Edge Knife Works, so I can't really direct you over there. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will talk to you soon.